Hello everybody and good evening. My name is Sora Darchild and welcome to Let's Replay Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I've next to Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. This is one of the few games on the Nintendo 64 I've been wanting to play for a long time on this channel. So, before the uh, theme song starts uh, playing, I'm gonna get us started. And in order for you to be able to save in this game, you need a controller pack. You know, uh, one of the one of these things. Anyway, if you have one of those, great, you can save. If not, good luck getting to the end without one. There was a problem with the controller pack. Well, it's only episode one, so hopefully I'll get this resolved before I get to the next part. So, let's get on with it. Starts off on a nice day in the town of Edo. What are you guys doing? Leave right now! Never come again, you punks! Happy Samaru! Why? Why have you taken off all your clothes? I thought I could negotiate a discount with my hypnotic dance. Discount? We've been thrown out of the store because of your dance. He just couldn't understand the beauty in me. You worry me. What's happening? Huh? I forget to mention that this series has a bit of a unique sense of humor. That a lot, including me, would find a little bit disturbing. W what was that big giant thing just now? Going on! Isn't that the direction to Odo Castle? Apologies in advance if that's gonna give anyone seizures. Including me. I've arrived at my destination. Hmm. Let the first attack this castle. here. Wait, what's that commotion outside? What's going on? If we just proceed with our cunning plans... <laughs> Castle. The Lord's place again? It's been real. In any case, we can't just stand here. Follow me, Ibisamaru. Wait for me, going on. I haven't changed yet. Give me a moment to go home and change into something decent. Ah, heck. Well, hurry up! 
Eat Vic! I'm ready, let's go! Okay, uh... Can't do up C yet. Left C switches your weapons. Right C does nothing. And down C makes you switch characters. Eat Vic! For the first place we're gonna go, you mostly want to stick with Goemon for this. His main weapon are the uh, Rios that we use that are the in-game currency. And a peace pipe. While Ebisamaru uses this mallet he has. And later on, a camera. How does the camera work? We'll get to that soon enough, guys. Soon enough. But for now... We're mostly going to be con controlling Goemon. And... Let's get some money that I wasted a bit. There you go. We're going to need as much as little as we can. Now, first thing we want to do... I got to get a certain version of uh, Goemon's peace pipe before we can uh, go over to the castle. That's the way out of town. Can't go that way yet. we have hearts for our lives, we also have to keep an eye on our life counter here. Right now we only have two lives. Welcome to the coffee shop. Talk to this guy. Hey, you! You're a traveler! How would you like to buy a map of Japan to assist you on your voyage? I'll sell it to you at a discount. How about it? Yes. Awesome! I like the way you said that with enthusiasm. I like people like you. Here, you can have it. No charge! Alright, we'll call this a present for you. A map Japan. Step outside of the building and press the start button. You can switch to the map and back using the Z button. There it is. It's easy for me to get lost in this game with this, uh, without this map out, so I need it. Unless we're inside of a dungeon, then that's a different story. Now, you see that gate up ahead there? We want to go through there, but there's something else that we need to collect over here, too. It's a lucky cat! Collect four silver ones or one gold one, and you get an extra heart to fill up your life gauge. Very useful for this game. Gentlemen, welcome to Mount Fuji. You. A very easy climb compared to the original. Somehow I didn't take damage from that boulder. That's 
no. And unfortunately, yes, it does that message every time you collect a, every single uh, gold or silver lucky cap. You. 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 Now let's just climb up to the top and get ourselves our next uh, peace pipe that's going to be very useful to get through the uh, first dungeon we're heading to. I remember right, each dungeon is specific for a certain character in this game. For instance, the first game dungeon in this game is meant for Goemon with a peace pipe that we're soon about to get. Try my best to take as little damage as possible from these enemies here. That way. Talk to him and we'll get our next peace pipe. Wow, I'm impressed that you made it this far. Or what do you want from me? Do you have a good pipe? Pipe? Let me think. Well, let's see. Yes! I know. Take this. I'm honored to hand you my pipe. Hey, it attaches to the block with a star mark. We get the chain pipe from him. It kind of works like a uh, hook shop. If you find any blocks that have any star markings on them. That's going to be useful as we go on in this game. We just slide down. And that was the most ridiculous way I've slid down this mountain. Now we go back to Ido and head for the castle. The only tricky bit on the uh, chain pipe when you're trying to do the hookshot thing with it is trying to aim where you're swinging that pipe. Because most of the times you'll get your target, other times you're gonna miss. Now if I can just remember the directions to get to the castle and then we'll be good.
swim to one of the locations that we need to go to. Nope, nope, we're here. Gotcha. And now the hook shot back. You Sometimes you have to jump forward in order to get your target, but we did pretty well there. <laughs> if you have a memory pack connected to your controller, you will be able to save your game if you uh, talk to certain signs that are scattered all over Japan. These ones. That's the data it says for when you don't have a uh, one of those cards connected. That'll save time, I guess. Pretty simple. Mr. Elephant, he's pretty much the map of the dungeon of this place. Find him in any dungeon and you'll be able to uh, know where you're going. Going on, get on the platform please. We're able to extend our health. You. This game made it to other systems, but nope. Only on 64. Yes, there was. Need a gold key to get that door. That 
that's food, it'll replenish your health. If it's a gold one, maximum. If it's uh, the regular kind, it'll replenish one heart. Now that backtrack. You. You. Elevator. You. 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 Pick. Pick. You. Ah! Missed me. Go up here, you'll find a hidden key in this room. Just watch where you're standing. You. You. far so good. I'm probably gonna have to come back after we beat the boss. Because if you come back here after beating the boss, that hand would not be here. You get a lucky cat if you beat the boss at coming back here after getting the boss. Shows where the boss is on the map. You. How did that not hurt me? Food here if you need it. Like I am. I was just curious for what was this way. We're close to the boss anyway. Oh.
I was sure I heard something downstairs. Was it you guys? What the? Well, who in the world are you? My name is Baron. I've come to make Oro Castle a beautiful stage. Stage? What would we need a stage for? Goimbun, he smells like danger to me. Why don't we just grab this weirdo by the throat? Oh, and beat him up a bit. Who are you calling a weirdo? Maybe I'll just have to beat you up. <laughs> and before you think about saying it, no. This game is not filmed before a live studio audience. Hey, a lucky cat. Daksha. And some food if you need it before the boss. <laughs> Here we go, boss number one. King Roba Congo. The weak point is that red gem on his chin. out for his fire breath and those beams that he's gonna be circling around with. I just don't know why Goemon didn't jump there when I knew for certain I pressed the jump button. Once he stops, rinse and repeat. If you don't make the mistake of getting hit by those beams like I did, this is stupid easy. Press the jump button there, Goemon. from being dead now. Despite that he got two hearts off of me, I've still got him on the run. Sort of. Got him! We received the Miracle Moon in the shape of a moon. We're safe now, thanks to you. Lord, what has become of Odo Castle? Suddenly there was this bright light. And the next thing I know, well, look around you! We saw it from the outside! Hey, the whole castle's transformed into... Transformed when that beach beam hit! I remember, that strange man was yelling something about... Something like, instant stage beam. Instant what? What's a stage name? a strange name. 
by the way, where did that weirdo go? He rushed off in the awful in an awful hurry. I got a favor to ask you. Could you catch the guys that did this to Odo Castle for us? I beg you. We won't let you down. We can't let anyone do this. Do something like this and get away with it. Good. I knew I could count on you. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this with you. As long as you've got this, you'll be able to open the gate. Receive the Super Pass from Lord. I'm counting on you. I wish I could, but my memory thing is not working for some reason. Now, back inside. Just for a brief sec. Of that and I think that'll cover it for today's episode of let's replay the legend of the mystical ninja starring going on I hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did and we'd love to see more hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you want ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out we do new videos every Tuesday Thursday and occasionally Saturday and Sundays till the next video this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.